host um, today. Uh, one of the, my purpose to having this seminar is to help you certain area you might in the wrong the way my lost. Um, I was in Ruang Prabang uh, before I coming down here, and I met one of the Korean missionary uh, having cafe known as a little prince. Uh, I had a talk with this couple. They were sent by a Methodist, and uh, they've been here I think over now more than uh, four, years, four years. Four years. And Ruabang is in the, maybe um, during the pandemic, they were there. So almost three years in Ruang Parabang. So one year they were in the VNTN, prepared themselves to moving to the, the Ruang Parabang. So now they are in Ruang Parabang having a little prince. It's some kind of a cafe they have. So I had a chance to talk with them about the, the, their ministry and their life. And they said one of the struggle right now they have is about identity. <coughs> Who am I? They were sent as a missionary, but when they came here, they knew this is not the, this is a country is not open for them the gospel freely. Still there's some kind of a control, some kind of a tension, some kind of pressures on it. So they have to careful on their calling as missionary. So while they are in the Duang Ram Prabang, um, what they are doing is business. Because that's the way, one of the way they can reach out to the people. And also keep their the, the visa continuous, the, the stay in Ruang Prabang. When time goes by, business is getting better and better. And also their piano the, the, uh, lessons, and more and more people is coming. But yet, during the three years, they could not make any one single disciple. So they were frustrated. Actually, when, while they were living in the Korea, the wife was actually teaching the piano lessons, have own the own academy, and she gave it up to be a missionary. But when she came here, she's still doing same piano lessons. So they told me, feel like lost identity who I am. This can be happen in here. Because in here we are doing the, the uh, uh, tent making. So some of you are teachers, some of you have a business. Seems like we have we are teachers and business association. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not our true identity in Christ. Amen. So what is our true identity? That's what I want to talk about. Time goes by, you slowly maybe start compromise yourself. Ah, maybe I'm still doing the ministry. This might be okay. And slowly, slowly, you will compromise and you lost your true identity, who you are. That's happening. Country are restricted, especially. It can be happen. So, I would like to once again remind once again identity. First, let's talk about missionary. <clears throat> I know you may learn from me before, but this is time to remind you about our identity, missionary. In the Bible, did you find the words missionary in your Bible? Anyone? Anyone saw a word missionary in your New Testament? None. 
right? Even in the Old Testament, you cannot find any single words called missionary. But then why we call ourselves tent-making missionary? That is not found in the Bible. The words pastor is in the Bible? Yes. Words in teacher is in the Bible? Yes. Words in the evangelist in the Bible? Yes. Words in the prophet in the Bible? Yes. yes, even Old Testament, New Testament. How about the words the apostles in the Bible? Yes. How about the missionary? Then who you are in the eyes of the Lord? Biblical perspective. View of the Bible, we cannot find the words missionary. Then why we are using word missionary worldwide? If something is not found in the Bible. So let's talk about words missionary. Where they, these words came from? Words came from Latin words. Mito. Latin word mito. Why these words came from Latin words, missionary? When Catholic, they have a Latin Bible. When they sending person to abroad over the sea, that's the time they call them missionary. Words missionary actually is used by the Latin word from the mito and used by Catholic before. And after born again Christian, we just adopt the words missionary like a Catholic, we use as a missionary. But open times, we do not know where these words came from. It's Latin word mito. Why Latin words? Because Catholic, their Bible was translated into Latin languages. So then mito is what's the meaning of the mito? Mito means to send. Sometimes send out, send off, to send. Actually, to send, mito Latin words are rooted in the original Bible written in Greek, New Testament. New Testament is a return in Greek, not the Hebrew, hello. Old Testament is a Hebrew, but New Testament was written in Greek in the original. So when they translate Greek Bible into the Latin words, because they couldn't understand the Greek, the Catholic, they like the Latin, Romans. So when they translate Latin, they use the word mito because they're using the Latin. But with this word mito, where is it came from in Greek? Greek words, apostello. This is Greek words, apostello. Original Greek Bible, if you found the words apostello, that is Greek translate to the mito. Same word, to send. And the one who sent, they call missionary. Translate into Latin to English. And also same time, this Greek word apostello was translated into direct English version. Because when they translate, they are not translated from the Latin, original words. When they translate Greek word to the English Bible, whether King James or Tyndale, when they translate, they translate apostle. So, words missionary is came from Latin, mito. But this word translated from Greek words, apostello. And when Greek word apostello, when they translate English directly later on by Christians, born again Christians, they translate into what? Apostle. Apostle. So, English words missionary, English words apostle is the same meaning to send.
So, suppose we, when this is Catholic, because they use the Latin Bible, Catholic, they call it missionary. When we had a Protestant, Catholic, from the, uh, uh, from the Catholic, we came out, sometimes born again, sometimes the evangelical churches or reformed churches whatsoever. When we came out of the Catholic, we translate Greek Bible to the English. We use the words apostle. But then, why we are not using the words apostle in these days? Why we still use words missionary like the Latin words, like Catholic? There's a reason. When they there was a reformation of the church in 16th century. They do not believe that the apostle is exist. It's ceased, stop, no more. Only apostle is 12 only, early church. And these days, no more. That was their understanding. And, and also, prophet is no more. Bible is complete, so there's no need of prophet anymore. So they deny there's no more prophet. That's the belief of the 17th century, when there was church was reformed. So they do not want to use apostle, those who are going out of the country, abroad. So instead of the word use, apostle, they take the words from Catholic missionary. That's why we even Protestant or Reformed Church or Reformed believers, we use until they stay missionaries. The idea is there's no more apostles exist in this day. Then what's their belief? Belief is no more, no more apostles, no more prophet, and no more. Evangelist, no more teacher. What is only left over? Pastor. pastor. Only pastor. That's the I that's the actually understanding. So pastor doing like a pastor, pastor is the one who doing like evangelist, pastor is doing teacher, pastor is doing huh? everything. Everything. <laughs> so only word pastor is left. So all the Protestant church, they don't, we don't have any other position, only word what? Pastor. pastor. So these days, everybody is just called pastor, right? They don't recognize a pastor. They don't recognize as prophet or teacher or evangelist. Why? This was the belief of the 17th century when they had Reformation, especially whose view? This view of evangelicals. Whole evangelicals. Lutheran, Calvinist, or Presbyterian, or maybe Congregational, Anglicans, they all go with this view. Very strong. Very strong doctrine. That's why nobody say, no, it's wrong. Nobody cannot say that. Why? Until now, these days, still it is hidden to the church. Church couldn't understand. So that's why everybody say, pastor is only minister in the church, in the body of Christ. Missionary is something like under the pastor. So pastor is mentoring missionaries. Like they are used to church, used to associate pastor, something like that. Mm -hmm. This is kind of idea now happening. Elder. Huh? Elder, elder. Yeah, now, let's find out what is really Bible says. Is that really
Is that world missionary was just created even though that is not in the Bible or not exist anymore in that function? Or is it still function? Point is, word apostle. Is that ceased? Means no more exist. No more existence. No more in these days. Is that true? This is a view of evangelical belief until now. Almost 500 years. That's the teaching. That's the belief. But let's open your Bible. In this teaching is only a person is there in the early church, 12. So Judas betrayed, they pick up Matthias. So Matthias plus Paul, Apostle Paul. They accept only these 13 as apostles, not anymore. Ceased. No more. Only one who is left? Pastor. That's the belief. Let's open your Bible. First, let's open your Bible. Book of Acts, chapter 13. Chapter 13, from the verse of 1. 1, 2, 3. Somebody read. Everybody read. 1, 2, 3. Everybody, uh, somebody read. No, Book church. of Acts, chapter 13, 1, 2, 3. Now in the church of Antioch. Now, what is it? Church of Antioch. Church of Antioch. There were, were prophets, teachers, Barnabas, Barnabas and one called Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrach, and Saul. Okay, five of them, right? Here, church in Antioch. Remember, fourth church was church in Antioch. Antioch. Jerusalem. <clears throat> was the fourth church? Yes. Church in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And second most influential church was church in Antioch. Church in Antioch is located these days in Syria. ISIS. You know the ISIS? ISIS? -I -I Extreme Muslim you know, the rebels. Terrorists. Now where they are? In Syria. Capital of the Syria was Antioch. Antioch is not in Israel. Antioch is out of the Israel. Okay, so this is a forced multicultural church. This one is mono cultural. One culture, only Judaism, Jews. But this is a multicultural church. Why? If you look at the name of leaders, Banaba, Simon, called what? Nigger. Nigger means black. It's black people, African. Maybe he came from Ethiopia or Libya. So in here, leadership is also the, uh, Paul was not born in Jerusalem. He was born out of the country, Tassos, which is these days Turkey, somewhere in the near to the Turkey. So he was like born other country, like your son, born in Laos. So he is not purely 100% grown up Jewish cultural, but he experienced multicultural. So there was leadership is not only 
Jews, there's the Jews and non-Jews. Multicultural church. Like them the uh, in here. If you have a worship, who is coming? Vietnamese? Something Laotian? Sometimes Chinese? Sometimes Japanese? Multicultural. Do you understand? Yeah. So in here, they have five leadership, team leaders, not one. Five of them were leaders in the church. Their name is force is what? Panaba. Second is Simeon. Simeon. Third is Lucius. Lucius. Lucius from where? Cyrene. Cyrene. It means he's from different place also. And next is what? Manaen. He is what? Politicians. Very interesting leadership. And last is what? Saul, so. what we call Paul. Right? <clears throat> Five of them are named mentioned. It means multicultural church has not one single leadership, it's team leadership. Five of them. What was their title of their, their the, what, how they call them the leaders here? Verse 1, it says what? There were Teacher. prophets prophet. and teachers. 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 Means not singular, it's plural. Prophets and teachers. teachers. <clears throat> it means more than one prophet, more than one Teacher. teachers. And then name coming up, Barnaba, Simon, Luci uh, uh, Lucius. Lucius, and Manayen. Manayen and Paul. Name coming up. It means whoever named the first will follow the one. When they put the name, when they say prophets, prophets and teachers, and then clone, name start. It Barnabas. means Barnaba is belong to where? Prophets. Prophet. So not what singular, it is plural, it means more than one. So Simon might be the what? Prophet. Prophet. Last is teacher. So Paul is what? Teacher. Teacher. And then here, Manaen is teacher. Lucius, we do not know. He is belong to the prophet or he is belong to the teacher? Politician. A politician. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, in here, it's very clear. In Jerusalem, <laughs> the leadership was apostles and elders. Leadership of the church. Why they were elders? There's a reason. Brother of Jesus, called named James. James is also who wrote book of James in the New Testament. He is not a pastor. After Jesus died and resurrected, he was upper room of the mark, received the Holy Spirit, and he became a one of the strong leaders in the church. So what do they call elder? You understand? Yes. Yeah. They don't call a pastor. They don't call prophet. They don't call yeah. teacher or prophet. Anybody? Just <clears throat> call elders. So in church in Jerusalem, their leadership is apostles and elders. And here, Antioch Church is prophets and teachers. teachers. No apostle, no pastor. evangelist, no pastor. Wow. In church in Jerusalem, do they have a pastor here? No. No. How about this church? No. So you are just understanding is, if there's a church, there must be pastor. Am I right? Yes. But in here, look at, no pastor, no pastor. But in here, call prophets and teachers. teachers. So let's say, Panaba is prophet. Paul is teacher. teacher. Right? In the church in Antioch. Now, what happened in the church in Antioch? Verse 2 and verse 3. Verse 2 and verse 3. Somebody read. 
while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Yeah. So who is speaking to the church? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. It's amazing. Holy Spirit said to the church. Do you remember book of Revelation? What the Holy Spirit says to the church. So Holy Spirit speak to the church. This is the first time we hear the word. Holy Spirit is speaking to the church. Something asking to do. What he is asking. Set apart Barnabas and Paul. And what? What's the purpose? Verse, verse 3. What it says? So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. Send them off. So Holy Spirit speak to the leadership of the Holy Church, <coughs> Antioch Church. Set aside Pope Baraba and Paul. They are called to what? Send, send off. off. <clears throat> to send. Not stay in Antioch. Send them out. That's the instruction of Holy Spirit, right? Yes. So they prayed, they pray, lay hands on them, and they send them out, right? For the whatever Holy Spirit won't let them to do. So they are called not for the church ministry, they call something else, right? Yes. So now look at in the uh, chapter 14. Next chapter, after they were sent out. Chapter 14, verse 1. Chapter 14, verse. verse. No, no, no. Poor uh, and Banaba. Chapter 14. Huh? Verse 1. Verse 1? He will read. No, 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 no. Chapter 14? 1. Why 1? Because 2 No, verse 14. Verse 14. Chapter 14, verse 14. I was confused. Why, Mami? Okay. So, remember, chapter 13... Talking about <laughs> Barnaba is what? Apostle. Paul is teacher. But now, look at the next chapter. After they sent them out, chapter 14, verse 14. Sir, Sir uh, Sam, can you read? Chapter 14, verse 14. And then in the verse 14. Chapter 14, verse 14. And then in the check also Vietnamese Bible, what it says. I want to double check. Yeah. 14, 14. Uh, which when Apostle Barnabas and Paul here of they rent their clothes and run in among the people crying yeah. out. Yeah. It says apostle or apostles? Is it singular or plural? 14, verse 14. Uh, apostles like uh, many people. Many. See, it's we know Paul is an apostle. Am I right? Yes, sir. But verse chapter 14, verse 14 said, Apostles, yes. And then, who's, whose name? Banaba and Paul. It means what? Banaba is? Apostle. Paul is? Apostle. How about the Vietnamese Bible? Is that the plural? Plural too. How about the Lao Bible? Lao Bible. Plural. Plural or singular? One apostle or many apostles? <coughs> many. Um, X chapter 14, but for double check. Huh? Uh, 
Yeah, so it is a passers one or a passers two more. Plural or singular? Akasa. 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 More than two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Because when I was in Indonesia, I was surprised. They translate singular. Why? Because when you translate, it's evangelical. He doesn't want to um, destroy his belief. His belief is up to what? Paul is a pastor. Barnabas cannot be a pastor. So if he put the apostles, Barnabas and Paul, it means Barnabas is a pastor, destroy their belief. So that's the danger. But thank God who translate the Lao Bible correctly. Vietnamese Bible correctly. So now we found out who is a apostle. Why? What, what happened? When he was Antioch prophet, he was teacher. Now, chapter 14, verse 14 said, apostles. When they become an apostle? When they send up. Yes. This is key words. When they were sent out by instruction of the calling of the Holy Spirit, they were sent out. They no longer prophet and teacher. They were apostles. Do you understand? Yeah. So, is this correct? There's no more apostles after Paul. This teaching is wrong. Why? Barnaba is apostle. Hello. This is the fourth journey of the missionary life of the Paul was with Barnaba. They were both apostles. Now, second journey of the mission, who was with the Paul, Apostle Paul. Silas. 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 Right? Silas. Or Timothy as well. Now, <clears throat> Silas. What is his function in the church, Silas? Do you know that? Anyone? Anybody? Huh? Yes, correct. Do you know Silas was a prophet? Aha. Uh -huh. You never notice. Let's open your Bible. Chapter 15. Acts chapter 15. Now we are talking about the 13, 14. Now chapter 15. <coughs> you open the Bible. 32. Acts chapter 15. Verse 32. Okay, somebody read out loud. Okay, Judas and Silas, who themselves were prophets. Wow. So in here it said Judas and Silas are what? Prophets. Prophets. Uh -huh. You only know Paul, Silas, Timothy. But you didn't know Judas. <laughs> Judas is a prophet and Silas is prophet. prophet. So it means early church prophet is not ceased also. There was, there was what? Continuous. Did you see? So Silas is what? Prophet. Correct? Yeah. But this one, before he joined with the Paul. After he joined with Paul, with Timothy, then, then his title. Let's look at his title. Is it still the same or it's changed? Where? Where in the Bible? Anybody knows? Anybody? First Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 1. First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 1. 
O Silas and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, now, <clears throat> First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 1. Now, Paul and Silas and Timothy are writing the letter to the church in Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Right? That's why he said, from Paul, Silas, and Timothy to the church of Thessalonica. That's the letter. Remember, this is a letter. Right? So this is the sender. Paul, Silas, and Timothy are sending letters to the church in Thessalonica. Something want to follow up. Right? Something want to follow up. They've been here already. They did a ministry in church in Thessalonica. Now he wants to follow up. So he sent the letter from Paul, Silas, Timothy. Now, Paul is what? A pastor. Right? Yes. Silas, we found out he was prophet. 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 Timothy. Timothy is what? Believer. Known as just disciple. Yes. Bible said, Apostle Paul found Timothy a disciple. He said a disciple. Mm -hmm. He was a disciple, young disciple, joined with Paul. Mm -hmm. Now, he was known as disciple. He was known as prophet. Now, let's see. What is, what he's talking about? Chapter 1, chapter 2. Let's go to the chapter 2. Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 6. Chapter 2, verse 6. We were not looking for praise from people, not from you, anyone else, even though as apostle of Christ, we could have asserted our authority. Wow. It says what? Apostles. As apostles of Christ, we. He said, didn't say I. Did you see the words? Yes. We as apostles of Christ. Christ. Who are the we then? Paul, Timothy, Silas. These are the we. We as apostles of Christ. We. Apostle Paul didn't say I as an apostle. He said we as apostles of Christ. Christ. When he say we, it means including what? Silas and Timothy. and Timothy. Now, we found out Sila before he joined to the, the mission trip with missionary work with Paul, he was known as prophet. prophet. But now he is what? Apostle. Why he became a pastor? Sent out. Yes, they were sent out. How about Timothy? Yes, apostle. Did you notice? Apostle Timothy? <laughs> no way! He's 20 years old. He's so young. Bible said young. Do you remember? Yes. He's young. Your understanding of apostle is someone spiritually so mature <laughs> was so old. So holy, so holy. <laughs> and miracles and wonders follow. Someone very high supernatural. Mm. But look at Timothy is what? Yes. This is about sharp code. So what kind of job I had given to you? Timothy, I given to you, go out, send out to do mission. That's why his job is a pastor. Hello? It's not the based on age. It's not how, how spiritual, how mature. How mature is mature? <laughs> if you ask me, are you mature, sir? I don't know. I'm still press on. More much going up to mature more. There's no end. Hello? Yes. 
So it's very clear. Bible is talking about a parcel is not end with a pole. It is what? Continuous. Right? We found out who is a parcel? Panaba. We found out who is a parcel? Silla. We found out who is a parcel? So once you, before you are in the Philippines, you are in the Binna, you are wherever, you are maybe known as young disciple, or maybe follower of Jesus, or member of the church. It doesn't matter. Once Holy Spirit is speaking to the people, send them out. Once you are sent out for the purpose of the Holy Spirit, you are what? That's your identity in the Bible. Don't forget who you are. It's calling. Hello? It's calling. Wow. I'm a pastor. Sorry, I'm, I feel like uh, I cannot bear it too, too much. If I say pastor, yeah, maybe okay. A pastor. Oh, no more. No more. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's up to him to choose. Amen. Amen. It's not the man. It's about calling. Is there more pastors? Yes. Let's open your Bible. Book of Romans. Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church in Romans. What it says here. Romans chapter, uh, 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 last chapter, 16, verse 7. Ah, you will find a very interesting name. Maybe, oh, if I have a baby, I will put this name. I didn't know there was this kind of a name. Somebody read. Um, Darrell, can you read? Yeah, 7. Android. 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 My fellow prisoners who are standing among the apostles who also were in Christ before me. So means that they are what? Outstanding among what? Apostles. It means that they are? They are apostles. Excellent apostles. Hello? The excellent. Among the apostles, they are excellent apostles. Hello. What's the name? Andronicus. And the next is? Junia. Wow, now you find a nice name, Junia. Outstanding among the apostles. Wow, this I like it. <laughs> Why nobody taking this name? They are outstanding than any other apostles. Am I right? Maybe the baby doing it. Yeah. But anyway, my point is, you see in here in the church in Rome, also there is Andrinikos and Junius as apostles. So means that why they are apostles? Because they were sent out. Are you clear? Yes. Are you clear? Yes. Are we raised? Thank you. Now. Oh. Wow. A oh, pastor Sam. A oh, pastor Dan. Oh, I, 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 feel, I feel like, no, I'm not worthy. Don't say it. I'm not like Peter. I'm not like Paul. Sorry. That's your identity. Hello? Yes. It's not because of you, because of the Lord. So some people call us missionary because they don't believe they're the apostle. But actually in the Bible, we found out who we are. We are actually called to the apostolic world. Amen? It doesn't matter of your age. It doesn't matter of maturity. It's matter of what God is going to call and choose and send them out. That's why 
we have to really understand my calling. Now, let's open your Bible. Why apostle is not seized or no more? Why they say it? that's wrong? I will approve once again through the scripture. Book of Ephesians. Let's go to the book of Ephesians. We will read very carefully from the verse no, 7. Ah, Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians, Ephesus, chapter 4. From the verse 7. Are you there? Yes. Okay, Sir, uh, Sir Michael. Can you read verse 7? Seven? Seven. Yeah. But to each one of us, grace has been given. What has given? Grace. Grace. Remember. What's given? Grace. Grace. Great. Name grace is good. <laughs> grace is given. Charity. Right? It's yeah. given to you. As what? Gift. Grace. grace is given to the person as gift. Given. It's not your choice. Do you understand? Yes. Grace was given. It's not because of you work hard. It's not merit. You did a lot of effort so you can get the grace. No. Grace is what? Grace. Given. Gift. It's not based on your merit or effort, hard work. Hello? If there is hard work, Grace is no longer grace. Because you paid to receive the grace. Hello? Grace is gift. It's given as gift. So, in here, verse 7, one, each one of us, it says, each one of us. There's many, but each one of us receive the grace. As receive the grace. What grace we are talking about? There's many kinds of grace. Grace in giving, grace in salvation, but this one is different. Remember, read it continuous. As Christ, what? Appointed. Wow. As each one of us, as Christ, appointed. Appointed. A portion. Hello? A portion. A portion. A portion. Given different portion. A portion. <clears throat> so Christ is Christ is one who distribute, right? Yes. Given. Christ is given each one of us what? Grace. Grace. What is this talking about? Verse 8. This is why it says. Can, can, the, next. Yeah. Okay. My, Michael, continue. 8. Verse 8, mm. uh, this is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives, gave gifts to his people. So it's talking of <clears throat> after Jesus was what? Ascended. 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 It happened after he ascended. Not before he was ascended. Before he was ascended, he only chose what? Twelve apostles right hello but after he was ascended and he says what too many captive it means catch them catch like catch the same he was ascended and he captured captured it for what and gave what he captured each one of us Captured and gave what? Gifts. 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 So these gifts was given by what? It's not by Mary. Was something you achieved something. You did a hard work. No. By grace, Christ captured each one of us and he gave gifts. When? After he was ascended. It means he is still what? Giving the gifts. 
What kind of gift he's talking about? Verse 10. Uh, verse 11. Verse 11. Read. Michael, verse 11. So Christ himself gave the apostles. So, now he's talking about the soul. He was talking about the ascension in a while. And then he go back to the original theme of his teaching. So, Christ what? Himself. Himself, himself what? Gave. Gave. Gave, so, gave what? Apostles. Number one? Apostles. Apostle. Number two? Prophet. 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 Evangelist. Number three? Evangelist. 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 Number four? Uh, Which one is the first? He gave what? Give. So this is what? Is this by your effort or by gift? By gift. Grace. By gift, by? Grace. Remember, our calling is not what we have done. Our calling is gift. He gave. What? Gift. So a pastor is what? Gift. Prophet is? Gift. Evangelist is? Gift. Pastor is? Gift. Teacher is? Gift. How we receive this gift? By his grace. When? After he was ascended. So it means he is continuous giving the this gift. So this is called ministerial gift. Ministerial gift. Ministerial. Evangelicals who believe there's no more apostle, no more prophet. They don't understand this. Among the Pentecostals, they still believe there's a apostle and prophet. They misunderstand. How they misunderstand? They misunderstand that this is not the gift. If you are positioned, like the upgrade. Oh, I was a supervisor. And then I work hard. And then Sam said, okay, now you do manager. And then upgrade. Oh, I become a manager. I work so hard. Okay, you are now the uh, director. And then you're vice president. You're president. Something like promotion. Hello? Mm -hmm. That's kind of idea. Oh, I'm pastoring right now. So I did very well. So now I'm the evangelist. I'm doing evangelism very well. Now I'm the prophet. Now I'm the prophet. I did very well. Now I'm a pastor. I upgrade, upgrade. No, sorry. It's what? By So don't say, sorry, Lord. I, I cannot be called a pastor. This is grace. Hello. Amen. We are talking about grace. We are talking about the gift. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you have to know who you are. Among these five, we call five folder ministerial gift. It's not the office. Some people are thinking it's office. So if it's a, the presidency is vacant, okay, I will promote. I will become a pastor. No, it doesn't matter. How young you are, how old you are, how mature you are, how you are so supernatural or less supernatural, it's all about by grace. Amen. By grace, we became a missionary. Amen. By grace, we received the gift, this gift. Because Jesus knows what function we might be good. Because he is the one who formed us, he was the one who made us, Amen. he is the one who knows where we will fit in. Hello. Yes. One who make this. He you want to use this one for what? For writing. Same way. God made you and me. He knows what function we will be. We will enjoy. Amen. Amen. If you are whale. You know dolphin or whale. <laughs> if you put the small pond. 
Can you breathe? <laughs> can not swim? You will die. Hello? Why? You are not created the purpose. That's why what we are doing, we are by grace receive the gift and called by the Holy Spirit sent out to do to do his mission. Hello. That's why call call mission. Why commission? I am with you. We are mission together with Christ. Wow. Amen. You are not alone. Call mission. That's why we call commission. Where this commission words came from? Call together. Together mission. With whom? Jesus Christ. So we have a guarantee. I'm sending you, but you are not alone. I am with you. I'm doing work together with you. Whatever you speak, I will confirm your words. Let's open your Bible, book of Mark, chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. Okay, um, Mam Cha, can you read? Mark, Gospel Mark, chapter 16, verse 20. Yes, then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them. And Lord, what? Work? With them. Remember, I work with him. No, he worked with me. Amen? Jesus is work with me. That's the right term. Not I'm not work for the Lord Jesus. Hello. Mm -hmm. We are work together. That's a partnership. Hello. That's what an honor we have. Here, Lord work with them, with the disciples, and what? Confirmed. Not only work, and the next. And confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Yes. Who is confirming our message? Jesus. That's commission. He's work with me and for what? Confirm. Words we speak out. His words we speak, he will be the confirm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You understand? Yes. So you should not afraid to prove something. It's not our part to prove. Yes. It's his part to prove that your words is right. Amen. Amen. So last couple of days, when I people coming to them the, here, God continues for me a burden to talk about Holy Spirit. I know this might create sometimes a problem among the brothers, especially evangelical people. I know this is not easy task, especially restricted country. But God had given the burden, so I cannot stop. And then it was confirmed. Michael said, can you teach about the Holy Spirit? Yes. And then L.E.C. What will be your title? I said, the great unknown. <laughs> what is this? Sir, Sir, Sir Dan said, Holy Spirit. And then he talked with the L.E.C. Well, Baki. Oh, this is a little bit a problem. I don't know if they will approve or not. So that's why I said Bible navigation too, book of X. <laughs> but what is the actually the, the topic? <laughs> Holy Spirit. I said book of X is not by X by the apostle, it's by Holy Spirit. So you must understand Holy Spirit. So I share about the Holy Spirit. Then what happened? Place to place in 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 uh Ruang Prabang. The area in here, people are the one who come out and say, "Wow, mm -hmm. I, f I, I feel I, I feel some experience fire." Yeah. Yeah. Did I feel anything? No, no I didn't feel no. anything. <laughs> Just I lay hands. No, no fire. <laughs> My temperature, no cold, no hot. 
<laughs> so I don't know what's going on with this person. Hello. Mm. I just do my part. Yes. Who will be confirmed? The Holy Spirit. The Lord yes. confirms the message. So I just lay down. And suddenly, people come out one by one and said, Oh, so hot. <laughs> what's going on with my hands? Nothing. See, we as a minister, we are not depend on the feeling. Amen. Yes. We just obey his words. Then he is the one who confirm. Amen. Yes. So do you know, uh, 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 why they have to feel the fire, something hot? Why? Remember, spirit, Holy Spirit is spirit. Amen. Spirit touch. How do you know it touched or not? If you are not feeling anything. Yeah. <laughs> if you cannot feel anything, how do you know it's, it's touched by Holy Spirit? Yeah, if we don't feel, so we cannot feel the touch. Yes. That's why God allowed what? Our feeling. body to feel. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, I touch by the Holy Spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit. Hello? There's no feeling. How do they know? Spirit is passing by. Spirit is coming upon them. No way. So the way God did is let them feel fire. Yes. So that's why we are making our job these days. When you do the ministry, we must turn on the air condition. <laughs> because it's so hot. <laughs> so it's not me. If you ask me, Sir, did you feel something when you pray over them? Sorry, no. <laughs> and somebody, I pray for the sick people. Sir, did you feel something like electrocute something come out from the, your hands? Or something, something is coming out? <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> what, what do I have? Lord Jesus is with me. He is his part in confirming his words. Mm. I spoke. Mm. I just have one faith. Amen. I'm not alone. I'm not ministering myself. I'm not the one who doing ministry. He is doing ministry with me. So that his name will be exalted. Amen. So if you have very simple faith, you pray for the sick. Even I go to the in the different country, like uh, sometimes India, sometimes the Baptist church, sometimes in the very deep remote area. They want they come and ask me to pray for the healing. I know I don't have no power for healing. But when I pray, they say, Oh, I'm healed. I'm also surprised too. Oh, are you really? So I want to really check. Have, come on, come on. Make sure. Are you really healed? That's me. <laughs> Same like you. Amen. Nothing different. Hello? You understand? If you understand the words, she's, my identity was sent out from the Lord Jesus by grace, given the gift to minister as a pastor. Bring the what? Message. Then if I bring the message, who is working? Jesus. Is with me and he is confirming my words very simple then miracle will take place don't say I don't feel any sense should I pray now or no if nothing happens shame or no that's not your part remember even Jesus was in his hometown, Nazareth. He said, I cannot do much miracles. He even, he is a son of God. He could not do many miracles in his hometown. Why? They do not believe him. Remember, even Jesus cannot do the, all the miracles to everybody. Nothing wrong if there's no miracle happen to me. Hello? Don't know, pray. Mission motivators. Our strength is power encounter mission. Remember, not just share the words. We believe Holy Spirit are the words. Choose me, send me, and giving the grace 
as a pastor, whenever I share, signs and wonders will follow because that is my calling. If there are signs and wonders, people will surrender their life to come to the Lord, especially unbelievers. Hello. How we can break through if there is no miracles? Very hard. If you are good in talking, talk, 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 persuade, believe, believe, believe. Later, I will think about it. <laughs> That's not our way. One day, Apostle Paul went to Athens in Greece. Where is all the philosophers? Socrates, Platon, Aristoteles. I was in there, Greece, Athens. I was exactly, Apostle Paul was there, I was there also. I sit the same place. I was thinking, how he did a ministry here with all the, the, the philosophers here? In the beginning, he debate. He debate. They said, wow. All the philosophers, philosophers said, what a new kind of a teaching. Let me think about it. They did not accept. Now, Apostle Paul was so frustrated. You know what he did? He changed the strategy. I will not debate with these people. I will go with a power encounter. Then he went to the where? Corinth. Corinth. Book of Corinth is talking about all kind of spiritual gift. Hello. This time, no more debates. Only by the power of the Holy Spirit. When he was in Corinth, no talk. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> people are come to the Lord, experience Holy Spirit, power encounter, church was established. And then he could not establish any ministry. That's why he regret. Why I did a debate with them, better with the power. So remember, every mission agencies, missionaries have so many different strategies to approach, but don't forget, we are called by the Lord, send them out. And he said, I am with you. If you speak my words, I will confirm you. Power encounter. Evangelicals don't believe miracles, healings, baptism of Holy Spirit. Why? Never experienced. That's the sad part. Once they, somebody never experienced and he locked the door. I didn't experience, you should not experience also. They said, close the door. This door is completely closed so that many evangelicals never heard about baptism of the Holy Spirit, never heard about the speaking tongues, never heard about the healing, never heard deliverance, it's so sad. But remember, our calling in here is not to be a pastor. Hello? As a pastor. Signs and wonders. When he gives the gift, he will do great and mighty things. Hello? Just, are you sick? Pray. And if something happens, just run away. <laughs> That's how Jesus hide himself. Why? Many people say, oh, who is the one who touched me? You remember the, yes. the uh, one who had a blind? Yeah. Huh? Yes. And Jesus touched him. And the Shiloh, he touched the mud. Touched the mud yes. Right? And then he opened his eyes. Who is the one who healed myself? Why Jesus run away? He doesn't want to eat. Trouble. Many people trouble. Many people say, oh, this is a man. Loud police will come. What's going on? What's going on? And this man. <laughs> when everybody go out, that's the time Jesus slowly take when he, hello. Ah, I remember his voice. You are the one who healed. Yes. That's the time. Do you remember how he did it? Yes. Sometimes after this, he was hiding a little bit. After quiet, he goes. <laughs> Learn from the Lord Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he 
ิดเอ็นเงินไอคนคิดเอ็นเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่นคือเงินนั่
So our mission is for the unbelievers, especially those without the missionary, there's no way to hear the gospel, or without the missionary, there's no congregation, no churches around. That's our part. Here's the Laos. Okay, here, this area, already 100 churches. Are we called to put the one more church here? No, that's not our part. Remember, we are staying here, but our target should be somewhere, is what? No churches in this village? Or church was there before maybe during the time of the communist or time of the, the time and it destroyed, nobody is restarting again? That place is our target. That's our part. When we do the, our part, you will be refreshed and renewed. Because we are doing will of the Lord. Hello? If we are doing what I want to do, there's no, not much refreshing. Exactly if we have a knife for the cutting, it should be cut purpose. Amen? Yes. So, our target is here. Then, issue is how we can put the foundation here. Either you live among them. Go and live among them. Living together is very important. If you, the condition you cannot live among them, then second is you send. Or in. Live in. You have to choose. If you cannot live in, at least we have to prior, prioritize, send somebody there. So this is a purpose we have a school of mission. SOM. In Vietnam, we have SOM. What's the purpose? What's the, your goal? Place you can you want to go or you cannot go or place you want to go together. That's the place we are going together from here. This is our strength. We are producing them the uh, workers not for here. Already there's many churches. Our focus is priority. We have our job. We are not the call for the pastor. We are not called for the evangelist. We are not called for the, um, the uh, 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 prophetic. Hello. Even though Baraba was prophet, once he was sent out, he was a pastor. Means he know what he have to do based on his calling. So, SOM. This is what we develop. Hybrid, hybrid program. For what purpose? To start making partner with me and going together in this place and, and starting work. And once house church was established, local will take care. You will be encouraged. Hello. And we start another place. So this is the way Lao church cannot do the things. That's what we have to do. Amen. Something Lao church can do it. We are not duplicate work. We are not competing. We have our own part, they have their own part, and others have other part. So our part is prioritize this area. So for this reason, Vientian we have SOM. Ram Prabang, we have SOM. Why SOM? Maybe in Ram Prabians, Bang Prabians, we could reach out with them. Hello. If Bang Bien, we put the SOM, what's the purpose? Reach out. Maybe reaching out around the area. Not, do not put the church here, remember. If you put it, it's recognized, it is monitored. 
only in here live together in training. Our focus is prioritize so mirror is not reached. That's what actually people want to hear from the missionary. Oh, you're a missionary. What did you do? And then you start sharing. There's a place, never heard, who Jesus Christ is. And, and, my, uh, and our senior missionary in Cambodia, Oyet, he testified. First time he went to the, in the area, is, what was the name of it? Kampong Chinang. Kampong Chinang. First time he went to the Kampong Chinang, the province area, he said, he shared to them, Jesus is a bread of life. You know, Lao people, how do they receive the dead words? Oh, he is coming to open the bakery store. <laughs> Oh, they expecting bakery store from him. Because it means they never heard Jesus Christ. You understand my point. So we need to know my identity and what is our priority and which direction we have to move. So that body of Christ, we are working together Bring the gospel to entire Laos. That's our part. Amen. <clears throat> Not only entire Laos, there is also someone who call like us. We, they will be sent out from here to the, another place, maybe China. Who knows? Cross culturally. Or Thailand. So we have a Myanmar. We have a bigger picture. Hello. Only difference is all other organizations. Their strategy is, we will make a disciple, you work only in the Laos. That is wrong mindset. While we are training them, we will give a global mindset. As I'm called to come here, you also might be called to the nations. It's not the matter of the how much knowledge you have, how much education, how much money. No, it's done by faith. Amen. Amen. It's done by faith. Ask Sir Sam, when he arrived, how much he had? <laughs> the uh, one in the Cambodia, the, uh, 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 no, not personally, um, no, another, uh, um, no, no, the, the one I'm talking about. Boye, Boye. Second time he came back, in his pocket only 30 dollars. He is starting work in the same need. Only he prayed, and what he did? He going around the collector, all the plastic butter. And he said, <laughs> plastic butter. And he get the money, continues to do the meeting. You hear the, his testimony. Yes, sir. And that testimony hitting the church, hitting the people. Sometimes every environment, every situation, God allowed that happen. Why? God wants to make you a testimony to speak to the church. Yes. Amen? Amen? So it's nothing was happened accidentally. Everything is God wants to make his story through you. Amen. Okay? So now, so this is the our tactic. So our outreach, outreach department is bring the team, hit and run, hit and run. Hit and run. And then recruit and bring to the school of mission, train, and then find out my partner, go together. No, don't send alone. Go together and do the work together. And then make the model others to follow the way. So that we will work together to accomplish. Now, what is church? Church is people, not the building. Not the place. So many people thinking, how church? This is wrong concept. There's no such a house church in the Bible. Bible said church gathered in where? In house. So your focus is not about the place. Even if you place gather in the living room, gather in the somebody's house, that is church. More than two people gathering together, that's the church. Hello? Yes. 
And then when they grow in and they establish the big own building on lot, that's next, their part. But our part is any place we we, we make them church. Hello? Any place. So now, last challenge. In here, we are as tent maker. Um, means that we support our own needs to do the ministry, tent making. In tent making, there's two kinds. Job taking, or job making. Achan, all the teachers, you are what? Job taking. Boss in the hotel. Job making. <laughs> you are hiring people. <laughs> Now, not all of you call also either we have the choice to do the hotel business. Hello? Not applicable to all. Because everybody had a different calling, different God's gift and talent and so on. It's not applicable at all. Hello, remember. You can do it, but you cannot achieve somebody who had already got planned. Amen? You have your own uniqueness. So now, my challenge is this. Don't just be stay as teacher. Make a school. Why you are not making school? Own school. What's the problem? I am sir. It's nothing, it's nothing. No more money, but... It's not about finances. No, nothing. Maybe you never dream it. You never pray, you never ask them. Not, never What's think. the difference we move by faith? Amen. We have the same faith. Amen. I'm telling you. <coughs> in Poi <Pet. coughs> there was no international school before when I first I went. Very small, tiny town. But my fourth visit, maybe after uh, five years later, after my first visit, I saw Force International School. I was wondering, who is the, the owner of this school? I was shocked. Three Filipinas. They are not the missionary. They just came, and they don't have no money, but they agree. We sacrifice our salary, if we go to another place, we can get the money, but we sacrifice. Let's start together our own school. Actually, they renting the place and they started. It became a forced international school in Poipe. Just ask me, do they have the money? Are they came from the big uh, rich family? No. It's only mindset. So, Gerard, Mom Cha, let's have school. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Hire the people, not hiring. Hired, not hired, hiring. Nothing is impossible with God. Only thing is, why we need a school? Yes, if we are the owner of the school, we can give the best education. In the air also, our missionary can know we can come up together in the environment will be changed. Right? Many things. Many things you can contribute for the future. So my point is, don't just dream small things. Not satisfy what you have. God can give more than what you can do. Unlimited, amen. amen. Well, let's go move toward to the unlimited, amen. amen. Do not limit in yourself since you are called. And as job taker or tend to make. But if we do this way, there's only limited time we can do the ministry. So my another suggestion is 
if your husband and wife, maybe one person to the full time, another person full time ministry, so that work will be more fast. Need a sacrifice, teamwork. Hello, or in your team, maybe leaders will decide. When we see this person is really qualified, bring forth the gospel to everywhere. Let 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 us support him. We can make that happen too. So at least one or two full time by support. I cannot do the full time, but we help you do the full time. There's many different financial guidelines, different organizations. Hudson Taylor, OMF, they call OMF International. They have their own financial statement. Also, remember, none of the mission agency are support financial. Remember, it's from the church of personal race. Mission agency is more on mentoring, projecting, moving together for the better, better way of the result. So OMF also same. All missionary, they are the one who raise their own support. But their policy, they have cap. Means, for example, if cap is 500, each person receiving the more than 500, they will share. Put the, put the somewhere sharing funds. So everybody is 500. Somebody is less than 500, this goes helping. So this is OMF policy. Once team ministry, sometimes good like this, but there's also the problem in this kind of situation. Why? Those who have more capacity, Actually, they need more funds. Yes. Depend on the capacity, they should not limit. But OMF is limited. That's why their capacity of each person are limited. They cannot do more than above the, their, their the, uh, capacity, the, uh, based on their capacity. That's a limitation. So, in the beginning, MM, I tried in Cambodia this way. I put the cap. Perito and another one, two missionaries. They put into one account together all the income. So they share all the needs. After two years, while they were still learning the culture and language, this will work well this way. But after they assigned to the different place, this is not working anymore. Why? This person is growing in the ministry. This person is less growing. Who needs more support? Yeah. The more. Right. So that's why I change. Okay, no cap. Whoever gain much, to the much. Whoever gain less, to the less. So that's our policy at this point. But yet, remember, always Teamwork is not about the teamwork of the ministry. If sharing the light, sharing the time, sometimes financial support one another, that brings more strong in the teamwork. Hello? Yes. What purpose? Team means we are one. Whatever we got the harvest, it's all sharing together. That's God's principle. So, so focus, most important is we are here not only to do the ministry, we are here to be a role model to others. Because if you are done with you, that's okay. But remember, how about the who next one who comes to here? Who will be the role model to follow? There must be role model. Remember, if you only do the ministry, your only influence is this much. But if you became a role model, 
the next one, next one, next one, everybody will follow. Your, your influence is more great. Your impact is more great. Your fruit will be more great. So let's ask a sister. Who is the role model of the Vietnamese missionary? Any name you know? Very hard to come out right away, yeah? yes. From the Philippines. Who is your role model? <laughs> How about Klaus? <laughs> Who is the role model of the pastor? Role model of the local pastor. Huh? <laughs> Thailand. 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 Oh, Thailand. one who came from Thailand. You see, this is a problem. <laughs> role model as pastor is from Thailand. <laughs> see, this is a problem. If we put good role model in the ministry, many will be blessed. Amen. If there is no role model, everybody going their own way. And then someday, they don't know what to do. So, this is my words, last words. Remember, be influential. Don't end with you. Many, this Laos, Team Laos, you will be the role model to all other teams later on created. Later on, there will be Lao Thai team, Myanmar team, or other team. This will be the model to copy. That's what I'm looking for. You are not just small impact you are giving. From here, you can give impact to the nations. Because you are the light. So, any questions? Why getting hot? Is the Holy Spirit or is that the <laughs> okay. So I think I'm done with my um, lecture about identity as missionary and what missionary should do, what we have to focus, how we can work as a team, and do not limit yourself, create the work. Don't just be only employed until you die. If you want it, you do it. <laughs> Me, I don't like. I don't like that. I better hire than employ. <clears throat> but I decided not to do work, just full time by faith. Yes. Full time by faith, oh, there's more challenges as challenge. well. Yes. Sometimes tent making might yes. be easy, but I want my spend time all giving my whole life more on support. So anyway, so I think everybody uh, get in the picture. So SOM is the every location you go, you have to thinking about put a hybrid SOM like a Grand Prabang. So we discussed with the Sardan, that will be the entering point of the program. Those who finish that program will come to the VNTN another two more months. So it will be the, not the same curriculum or same program. Mm -hmm. So this VNTN will be the center, MM Lao Center. Mm -hmm. And we discussed yesterday with the Sir Sam. Uh, pray, big luck. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> center. Amen. It's time to put up the center. Amen. Yes. B Hotel here is the center now. But this is too small. <laughs> No parking area. <laughs> 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 really, really <laughs> but anyway, um, you are making history, not only history for the, those who are following from the MM, all other mission agency will see how you're doing, how you're moving forward. They will study about it and they will follow the, this way. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, all right. So even though Something we misunderstand one another. Sometimes it's something expected from somebody, but not met. It's okay. 
It's okay. Hello. Hello. Never mind. It's, it takes time. Yes. So, um, um, just my three experience. This is Ruang Krabang, and this is Bang Bien. This is Bien Tien. By train, followed by train. Which one is the northern part? Northern Ruang Krabang. Huh? Mokeo is China already? Boten. How far from Boten? One hour? Boten has a train station also? Yes, yes. Yeah. If for me, I will just follow the railroad. Center? Base? Base, base, and then from here, SOM, 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 and then reaching area is this two hour distance. Reaching area, two hour distance. Reaching area, two hour distance. And then we claim to the other missionaries, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> we will take care of this. <laughs> it's ours, ours. Not available. Yeah, it's already sold out. <laughs> no room available. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what might be the, the job making or job taking. Maybe I don't know here. Maybe school. Maybe here hotel. I don't know. Maybe here I don't know casino. <laughs> <laughs> That's why <laughs> Sir Jeff, Jeff is really Jeff. far away, yeah? Yes. Yes. Here. So you are in the really in island. <laughs> you are out of our monitoring area. But that's why I'm thankful that you are still uh, over there. But uh, hopefully you can break through in this area. Yeah. It is the most, uh, yeah. And then also, Sir Sam said, talking about Pak 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 is going to Cambodia. Yeah. So here, 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 Pak line up, so our Cambodian team can push. Wow! Hallelujah! Yeah. This is a meeting place in the Cambodian team. So let's pray about it. Let's claim whatever area is available. My tribes will take this place. Don't touch. <laughs> Twelve tribes. So anyway, um, MM in the uh, Philippine uh, Center. We are now just giving you a little bit in the uh, updates. Um, I'm actually preparing new generation to grow up in leadership. So before, in five, most five years, we keep on changing the training director, changing the center director, everybody change, change. So now I'm really focused on specialized. So Sir Jimmer and Christine will focus on training only. And Sir Dan, uh, uh, Aris will focus on administration of the center. Uh, and then the, the uh, uh, Sir uh, Tim will be outreach director. He will bring the Filipino pastor or other pastors bring to the Cambodia, Laos, open their eyes, short-term mission. That's his function. Uh, uh, uh. And then Mom, uh, the Rona, I need to discuss with her. <laughs> it seems like she jump, jump, jump. So I was kind of confused. What's the objective? <laughs> it's not the rest of the missionary. It's jump, jump, jump for all nations. But I need a little bit to find out which way she will more effectively to do the ministry. All right. But Mom Jell is actually developing her as MK, a missionary care director. So it means as soon as our target is mission center is complete, and the next is the, the missionary farm, which is supply our uh, uh, best of all the needs. And then next will be, we will start for the, um, the missionary care. Missionary care, including support for the children's education, those who are returning, 
in the uh, 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 in returning for the vocation and also the, uh, when you return you'll find out doctors and medical doctors dentists who can give a free treatment that is our continuous we need a lot of work to do that is our project moving toward and after you retire sir i don't have no money it's okay <laughs> There's far yeah. uh, we, we will move up to that direction. So um, that's what um, actually they're moving. So we start from the recruit, training, sending, and the mentoring. And now we are moving toward the a missionary care. Then we are completely really stand as a strong mission agency to be a model to the other countries. Amen. So. Uh, thank you for the, the, your commitment and uh, thank you for the, your, all the effort. Uh, remember, we cannot give you much, but we pray day and night. Amen. Amen. That's our strength. There's nobody maybe pick you up, but we are praying for the, the day and night. And then also we are continue to raise 24 seven prayer centers. Now we have five centers in the Philippines. Now we are pushing more for the missionaries. If you really understand what is most important, that's why sometimes Jeff, a job, I resign, I resign. He did many times. I said, this man doesn't know how important the prayer support. Hello, as I'm missionary, what is most important? Someone who understand me and stand behind, pray for me. That is the number one support. That's what I can commit to you that we can support in the area. All right. So, uh, any questions? All right. So, little little change here. First two years we call junior missionary. Sorry, less than two years. No more. After two years, tenth year we call missionary. Those who reach after 10 years, senior missionary. Uh, they are leadership of the MN, entire MN. So, after 10 years, no need to report. It's already going around the world, no problem. But missionary must be report if you're going out of the, your territory. For the Laos, if you go to Cambodia, your other country, at least you have to report to your leadership. Junior missionary, is still under the care of the missionary or senior missionaries because they are preparing their uh, growing understanding culture, language, and try different kind of ministry. And then fifth year, you have to decide what kind of ministry you want to start. Remember, you are the foundation. You have to put the foundation. Something you have to do, start, before you are under. Now, when hit the five years, you already have your own project. What do you want? That's what the people was looking for. We support you, we pray for you. Now it's time you have to present. This is what I want. Okay, so um, uh, we will we will make this way. So in here, Laos, before we send the missionary, after the, the training director was uh, proposed, we did interview, we approved, we sent. But now we are going to change. Training director, the uh, proposed and committee will communicate yes. with the team in here, leadership. Yes. If you accept, we send. If you don't accept, we will not send. Mm -hmm. That's the difference now. Okay. Wow, getting harder, yeah? We're <laughs> <laughs> going out to the top situation, Yeah, yeah. So now we have a one more in the, uh, uh, based on in the leadership decide, okay, this man better come here, we will, we will send. So this will be in the set. And also from here, you are entering the established MM Cambodia, you must, when you go there, you have to at least notify to the team leader in Cambodia, yes. I'm coming in your territory. Yes. All the MM who is coming to the Laos must be notified to the team leaders here, so that at least you know who is coming, what they are doing. Yes. Okay, not just bypass. So we are a little bit more uh, uh, structurized so that the, the, it will help to more work together in Christ. So I think I'm done. Now you have questions? So <clears throat> I
Susan, when my wife asked me, honey, uh, 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 I said two more years. One more year. You have nine years this time. Nine years. Eight years. Eight years. See? Wow. wow. We are eight years. Elders. Because Sir Sam, because he went back to the Philippines and uh, uh, training director, how many years? Years. Yeah, but still as a sender, you are counted as two years. Yeah. Yeah. Training team is also missionary. Yeah. So you are together hitting the ninth year next year. Wow. <laughs> Praise God. So once you become 10 years, remember, your responsibility is take care of the juniors. No, everybody is a, only uh, Darrell and the debris.